Okay, this is speech detection for WebGL, but I'll show you how to hook it up in the Unity Editor. So I'll switch over to the proxy management scene and hit play. And here we have an API to launch the proxy. So I'll click the launch proxy button. That opens up the UAC control because it's launched in an HP proxy. And now I can use Unity to open a browser tab. Okay, so the browser tab launches in Chrome, and this will send the speech API data through the proxy back to Unity. You just leave this open. Okay, and now I'm done with this scene. I'll just use the default port, which is 83. And now I can switch over to the proxy dictation scene. Hit play. Okay, and now the speech proxy shows that Chrome is connected, Unity is connected, and it's sending data across to Unity Editor. Now this would work in Unity Editor on Windows and a Windows standalone build of Unity. You can switch different languages. So if I switch to Chinese, Ni Hao, there you go, or uh, Japanese. Japanese, Kalimaska. Okay, now the sample will display Chinese characters because I included an open source font. But depending on what language you want to use, you want to make sure that you have a font capable of displaying those characters. Otherwise, it'll be sending that data across. You just won't be able to display it. Okay, so here I can do dictation. Switch it back to English here. Okay, and switch it to United States English. There we go. And we can do dictation real time in the editor, which if I switch out of dictation and go over to the proxy commands demo. Okay, so here we have the proxy command demo. Left. Here I can do real time detection, three. And you can do regular talking and then seven. You'd be playing a game, you'd say up, or do menu de navigation, say back, or some confirmations, yes, or no, nine. Okay, and then this video showed you that you could do real-time detection, word commands, dictation, right inside the Unity Editor, using the speech proxy, which interacts through the browser to proxy the speech API. And that's what makes it work in the UD editor and Windows standalone. And thanks for watching.